five who have been complete accidents. Uh, about eight or nine years ago, a British anthology uh, asked me if I would write a a short story. It was for an anthology of historical crime stories in memory of Ellis Peters. And I said, well, I'm very flattered to be asked. You know, I loved Ellis Peters' work and all that, uh, very nice. And they had all these eminent people like Stephen Saylor and Ann Perry in the anthology. And I said, you know, all guest company. I said, I've never written a mystery and I've never written a short story. <laughs> but this would be an interesting technical challenge to see if I can write anything less than 300,000 words. Uh, so yeah, I'll do it. Well, so then the question was, where do we set it? Who do we write about? I said, well, it's got to be the 18th century. I can't a whole new period for the uh, for a short story. I said uh, I don't want to write it about the main characters in my book because I, I don't plan the books out in advance and consequently I don't want to have some you know major event with stakes high enough to make an interesting story that I would then have to deal with in the context of the next book. So it has to be about a minor character. I said well there's Lord John Gray. He said he's a really interesting character. He has uh, major entertaining conflicts in that he is a gay man in the 18th century when that particular predilection was a capital offense, you know, and he's a soldier, he's a gentleman, he belongs to an aristocratic family, you know, he constantly leads a double life and he does it really well, you know, he accepts who he is, but he also fully accepts the necessity of remaining hidden. And uh, so I said, he's a really interesting character, he talks to me very easily, I can hear him, you know, no problem, I, I understand him very, very thoroughly. But uh, I said, he doesn't appear on stage in the main books all the time, he's only there periodically. Well, obviously, he was leading an interesting life during these periods when he's not <laughs> in the main books. Books, so why don't I write about one of those? So the first one, Lord John and the Private Matter, was in fact an accident. That book was written as a short story. Meanwhile, another anthology, a fantasy anthology called Legends 2, came to my agent and said, well, could Diana Gabaldon write something for us? And I said, well, if they wouldn't mind Lord John, sure. And they said, no, no, we love Lord John. And so in order to accommodate the fantasy aspect, since Lord John is not himself a time traveler or anything, uh, I came up with a story called Lord John and the Succubus, which takes place in Germany during the Seven Years' War. And we deal with, uh, you know, uh, a, a succubus and a, a gypsy curse and <laughs> interesting stuff like that. Uh, uh, which is also a fun uh, thing. That one's actually a novella. It's about 32,000 words. Well, when I went on this tour for Breath of Snow and Ashes, it was, of course, hugely successful, and I was chatting with the uh, with the publisher and mentioned the Lord John stories, and I said, so now I've got two of them. I've got Hellfire Club and Succubus. I said, I only need one more novella, and then I'll have my book of short fiction. So the directly I left Germany, she called up my foreign rights agent and said, is there any way she could write that third novella by February? <laughs> because we would love to publish that in August, just before the trade paper of, uh, of Snow and Ashes comes out. And he asked, and I said, I don't see why not. You know, around February 14th, I began to see why not. But <laughs> I did finish it by the middle of March. And so uh, those three short pieces are being published together in a book called Lord John, Lord John und der Hand des Teufels in the Hand of Devils. But the catch here is that the final novella called Lord John and the Haunted Soldier, the events in that actually take place after the events in Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade, which is the second novel. The pieces alternate short, novel, short, novel, short, and so forth. So I said to my agent, you know, if possible, we would like to have Brotherhood of the Blade published first so as not to confuse the pants off the readers. But Hand of Doubles is in fact done, which is amazing for me to have a book that's actually done and uh, not being typeset even as we speak.